Hello and welcome back to the Attorney and Stories channel where today is NaNoWriMo day one. Nope, I just put a two. Peace sign. Uh, day one of NaNoWriMo. We're starting off, you know, fresh and um, I think it's going to go really well. I just wanted to intro this video at the same time we're talking about day one. So, as I discussed in the last video, uh, what my plans are and whatnot um, as we kick off day one of NaNoWriMo. I really wanted to stay up until midnight and start writing at midnight, but... um. I fell asleep at 11 o'clock when I was watching the Yankees game last night. And don't come for me because I love the Yankees. Um, I'm a little bit sad about how that game went. But, yeah, I didn't end up staying up until midnight. I went to bed at 11 and woke up at probably like 6, 7 a.m. So, I just got off work and I've come home, changed, feeling a little more comfortable. Also, different glasses. And um, I just want to share with you guys some of the things I've got going on today. Because I do have my July bullet journal set up which look at how beautiful it is like let's first of all look at how cute that is and then some of my plans for you know project red one were to finish the outline for red one and then the basic outline for red two and then at least get to like halfway through red one because it's gonna be like a hundred thousand words and i only want to write 50k this uh today also my desk i've moved it there's one here and then there's one flat here too and they're just kind of hanging out all kinds of updates today but um i just need to take all the information i have in this notebook which is the first notebook i started writing all of my red one stuff in. i mean there's a lot of space left in the notebook but i feel like having the um notes and stuff consolidated a little bit more is going to help so i'm going to take everything from here and make it a little bit more i guess friendly for me to find the things that i need and whatnot also still dot grid paper you guys can see it. there we go dot grid paper but this one looks a little cuter i got some new stickers on it um i got a butterfly as always i put uh, at least one sticker and then i added this one and i got this from my um latest scribbler box um you can watch the video on that and then there's just a flower or a, um a leaf on the back because i thought it looked really cool and so we're gonna take most of these notes are the important parts of the notes for the draft that I'm on now. Because I've definitely done at least, I'd say four or five drafts of this novel and I still haven't finished it yet. And then the other day I just found some notes, um, some really old notes that I want to add to it as well. So that'll all be going in the red notebook. And then we have the biggest part of this that I've been working on for the last few days. Um, I started, so I have a copy of what I have written of my um, novel so far, which is about 81,000 words, 81 and a half thousand words. It is very thick. It is very thick. <laughs> so I sectioned off everybody's um, sections in here. And then on the first couple of pages, I started kind of rewriting that part to kind of give a better feel for the story. So this is it rewritten. This is the original underneath. And then I did the same on the next page, but I haven't finished yet. So we're going to be working on that today and then putting it into the um, document that I'm going to be using for this. Um, and then we're just kind of going to kind of go from there, honestly. Um, I think that's about all I have to say for now. I just hit the camera stand. It's about all I have to say for now. So I'm going to start writing and I will um, right here behind us and I will update you guys on. Um, Whenever I find out something interesting about my characters or, you know, I get some writing done and let you know where I'm at for uh, day one of NaNoWriMo. I also forgot to mention that I made some spreads for um, NaNoWriMo here. My face is looking kind of red. There we go. Um, I made some spreads. So I made one over here keeping track of um, how many words I should be writing every day. And then underneath these purple ones, I'm going to be writing how much I end up writing um, in like a dark purple or a different color or something. And then over here, I'm going to be keeping track of how long my sections are and what my running totals are. So this is what it looks like close up. And um, yeah, so this is how I'm going to keep track of everything for Red 1 for now, um, word count wise, because it'll be easier to see this. And then I can just share this uh, once it's completed, hopefully by the end of the, um, the, end of the month, because I can do up to 71 sections in here, 72 technically, because there's a preface as well. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys before we get started. I totally forgot to in the other part of this video. So now I'm going to get to writing. <laughs>
Okay, so this is the NaNoWriMo website for me. This one is Project Red 1. Draft 1 is going to get done is what it says. Um, I've done... So this was the original name of this. I was rewriting a bunch of stuff. And this is just Project Red 1, Draft 1, finally done. Um, so I wrote 1,168 words. Or 1,668 words. And these are all the sprints I did yesterday. And that is where my little tracker is. And then down here... Well, there's that. And then it shows you, like, a count for every day on here, which is really cool now. And then I haven't done these things. Um, I might do them eventually, but for now we just have 1668, which is actually more than I needed. But here we are. <laughs> Alright, so here we are on uh, Camp NaNoWriMo day two, and what a morning it has been. Well, it is afternoon now. It's 1.08 p.m. right now, and I forgot to update you guys earlier, but I did take a couple videos of other things I was doing besides writing this morning. And so, <laughs> my glasses have changed yet again back to my old ones. So these ones, one of the nose pads fell off, so I went back to my old glasses, of which I dropped right after I washed my face and brushed my teeth this morning, and the screw fell out. So... I have to go to Lens Crafters and get those fixed, but I'm just too, I don't know, I can't be bothered to park where I have to and then walk all the way there right now because it is raining nearly every day right now. So instead, I'm just going to wear these ones and hopefully they will stay on my face. And um, I am about to drink my second cup of coffee today because I am trying to stay awake and get these words. Just heard the microwave. Um, I have so far written 1,605 words, and that was just through, you know, just writing a lot this morning and doing, I did this a long time ago, but it is the 12 level dungeon crawl, which is every level, um, you write 100 words and then you roll a die. I just use a d20 because I don't have a 12 sided die and I don't currently own uh, to D6 at the moment. I don't know where they are. <laughs> I lost them because I'm using them for something else. Um, and so every level you roll the die and if you get that number of the level or higher, you get to move up a spot. So today, so far, it's a little bit of a chicken scratch and the, the numbers are a little bit weird, but, um, I have made it to level, let's see, 14. Cause I kind of, after I got to 12, I made the idea that I'll just keep going because I have two d20s. I have a beautiful purple one. Look at how pretty that is. And you will hear the thunder in the background as well because it is thunderstorming. Oh, there it goes. We'll wait on that. Um, and then I have a beautiful red and black die with uh, gold lettering on it. Not lettering, numbers. Um, so I'm using both of them now after I get to 20 to just continue on and maybe I'll make it to 40 or something who knows but so far it's really been helping me um get through my words um because when you think about when you think about just writing a hundred words at a time you get through it so fast and for me 
when I would get to that 100 word mark, I wouldn't even notice and I'd make it to 200, 250, and then be like, oh, wait a minute, I'm supposed to stop and roll the dice. So some of them I got, you know, upwards of uh, 295 or 200, so I'd roll twice for that sprint because every 100 words you roll and see how far you get. Microwave went off again. I really need to uh, go get that coffee. Um, but yeah, so that's been my morning so far. And in a minute, I'm going to show you because I took a break earlier for uh, something I wanted to do to make my desk a little bit more lively and not have to have the big lights on all the time because they are far too bright sometimes. So I'm going to show you what I did instead with some lights that we had just kind of hanging around the house. As you can see, I really enjoy ambient lighting, I would say, because look at the bookshelf over there. It looks so nice. And it's literally just lights around it, and that's it. So um, I did the same thing over here, but with a different set of lights, and I will show you in just a minute. All right, as promised, I'm going to show you the um, lights that I had, uh, that I put in myself. <laughs> They're not very even because I had to do them from behind the, um, the wall here because this is just a half wall. All of my stuff sits here. It's going to be dark for a minute. And then up here, that's the bedroom. Where's my hand? The bedroom is right there. So, and then I'm watching a um, vlog right now, which is pretty great. Um, so, I have a remote. And if we do this. Now we have lights over here. Look at how nice that is. It literally lights up the space so nicely. Ignore how dirty both of these desks are. So, I put them flat next to each other instead of having an L shape. And... <laughs> This desk, still, I can still not for the life of me keep it clean. Everything goes over there, and then this is marginally cleaner, minus the wires over here. I Wire management is not my specialty, so they just kind of sit there. The only problem is, is when I sit down, the uh, wires are in the way of the time, so I kind of have to, like, move around like this to see anything. And then the pink keyboard has made a comeback because a long time ago, um, I spilled root beer. <laughs> everywhere because as we know root beer kind of goes wild and gets uh stuff everywhere so um <laughs> i got it everywhere and i thought this keyboard was done for well i left it alone for a couple months and now it works perfectly fine because i've been really wanting to get a new pale pink keyboard because i thought this one was broken the only thing with it is it doesn't have a 10 key like the black key keyboard I had yesterday did but I mean honestly I'm not really that upset about it because it's a smaller keyboard and I'm actually enjoying that so we have written uh 1605 words I literally need let's see seven more words right yeah seven more words and I will be at my goal for the day which is amazing um, cause we're trying to get to 50,000 words. Where's the little, oh, here it is. 50,000 words and I've written 3,273 so far. The only thing is, is I haven't added anything to NaNoWriMo yet. I did update you guys on this earlier today. So later, um, I'm going to add my words to this and then we will see where I'm at. <laughs> okay. So I just got done, um, doing some exercise on the bike. I should have added a little clip of me doing that but that's okay I'm a little out of breath now though and my thighs are on fire I went 0 0.65 miles and I'm pretty proud of myself because I'm probably gonna end up doing it a couple more times today because it helps my hips feel better when I'm sitting at my desk all day and um a little bit sweaty now too I don't know if I said that but oof, feel a little warm in here but feeling good on a Friday um let's see i'm probably going to get back to writing over here because i have spent the last hour speaking with um some family for a little bit kind of catching up with them and whatnot so i think i'm going to get back to writing see how much i can get done and i will update you guys um at the end of the day when i see how much i've gotten written we're gonna take a quick intermission to look at my cat Channel. <gasps> Look at him, he's so cute. And then his plant over here is growing so well. There's his little face. Hello. What is plant? Um, I grew him some cat grass and it looks so cute. And then on it, it says, I'll owe you very much. <laughs> very much. And then this is what it looks like outside today, raining again. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be that. <laughs> okay, so we are coming to the end of my writing for today. And, um, 
Somehow I wrote a little over 3,000 words, and I'm not really sure how I did that, but I um, just wanted to update you guys that I did make it to a little over 3,000 today, and um, I'm going to end the day there, and I've actually been watching The Witcher for the last little part here, as you can see over there on the side, and writing on that side that looks white right now. Um, I'm actually using this app right now called um, My Write Club where you're writing but then you're writing with a bunch of other people so I wrote nearly half of my words here because every hundred words you get a um, star and every thousand words you get a gold star so I'm writing against a bunch of other people right now um, and then over here on this app oh I wrote 1605 words there which was close to the goal so right after my last update I moved to a, another app that I thought would help me out and it really did oh and there's timers 25 minute timers every time you're writing so that helps a lot too with keeping me going so looking at my um NaNoWriMo thing so far I'm at almost 5,000 words over two days and I wrote three thousand one hundred and thirty words so far today um so that's 194 percent of how many words i needed to write and then i'm 9.6 percent of the way there to the 50,000. Um, those are my updates lots of hundred word sprints um, and then this is what my graph looks like um very far ahead for today so i only needed so I have 4798. I only need like 100 words, not even like 40 words for tomorrow to be on track, which is great because then I don't have to push myself to write so much. And then over here, we see the difference between yesterday and today. And I think that's pretty much it. So um, that's going to be my writing for um, today. And I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, so here we are on the start of NaNoWriMo day three. I've washed my face, I've brushed my teeth, I made a delicious breakfast as you guys saw, and uh, we're gonna get to writing now. So I will update you guys when I get some writing done. Alrighty, so as you can see, I'm ready for work because I'm actually about to leave for work in a few minutes. But I did get quite a few words uh, written in this morning here. I probably had about, oh, I'd say probably three, four hours of writing. Um, along with, you know, eating breakfast, getting ready for the day, getting dressed, drinking two cups of coffee so far. We're probably going to have another. But um, I just wanted to update you guys with where I'm at on day three of NaNoWriMo. I'm still feeling pretty good. I'm not feeling the... I guess slump of not really being able to write anything because while I am editing this novel right now um, I am still adding tidbits here and there to the actual story and trying to figure out how these points of views will come together um, 
And for this one, I'm actually going to make a video on it, so look out for that in the next couple weeks. But I did um, the first of the Pomodoro uh, methods I'm going to do. I used an app on my phone called Forest, where you can set a timer for any amount of time, and you write for that amount of time, or you do whatever for that amount of time, and then you plant a tree for every um, so many minutes you um, do whatever activity for. I did four 25-minute sprints. Um, and wrote probably, I think I wrote like 1,500 words so far today, um, which is past the goal that I needed to make for today. It was like, I only needed like 70 words to make it for how many words I needed for today. So, um, I did the Pomodoro method and I think it worked really well because I would work for 25 minutes and then I would have five minutes off, 25 minutes, five minutes off, and you do that four times and then have an extended break at the end for I think like, 10 or 15 minutes and then you can start it over again which I probably will do tomorrow um but I have overall I think it's a really good method I think for me it's just going to be getting used to it because I did get distracted still in between and you know all this other stuff so it'll definitely be something to figure out and see if it works for me and I'm going to try a couple other methods like I said so definitely look out for the video I'm going to make on that and um I'll come back at you guys with the um, end of the day stats when I get to that. So as promised, I'm updating you guys on the end of day three of Camp Nanorimo, July of 2021. We have made it to 6,537 words, which is way above the goal I needed for today. I only needed, um, in my book, it's 5,001, but I believe it's a little lower than that. Because technically I only needed like... Um, I think I only needed like 70 words or something to make goal for today. So goal for tomorrow is 6,668 and I need like 300 words to make it there. So I think it's going to go really well and I will uh, see you guys in the morning. All right. So here we are on day four of uh, NaNoWriMo here. I have just finished my breakfast and I have a lovely um, cup of coffee right here. I love this plant cup so much. Um, so we have that already. I've been watching a couple of videos this morning and now I think I'm going to start working on my words because I don't think it'll take me too terribly long to um, write, but you know, just in case, because it is already like 11.30. Excuse me, I'm looking at the computer real quick. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to use my write club again because last time I did that, I was, you know, kind of competing with the other writers to see how much I could write. And I wrote, I think, 1,500 words last time I did it. So I'm going to do that. And then I will update you guys on, you know, I think I'll update you guys on some of my character stuff and how my story's going and whatnot because I haven't done that in a few days. So I probably should. So I will see you guys then. Okay, so I have an update on how the writing is going. Um, I haven't actually written anything yet, but um, look at my lovely desk. And uh, sorry it's grainy, it's because of the lights above me. I set up my writing notes journal for Project Red one so I can kind of put it all together. So I have the index, I haven't made the cover page yet. But I made a page for my word goal. So every time I make a thousand words, I'm going to color one of these in. I kind of messed up there, but that's okay. And then I have plenty of room for some novel goals there. And then I have my character bios here. And then the next page is going to be the outline for the story in general. Um, not just this um, book, but just in general what the storyline is going to be. And then the plot roller coaster is what I decided to use for this novel. And then... I can't turn the pages if I'm going to struggle. I have scene ideas that I can put in later because I have a bunch of sticky notes at the back here with a bunch of ideas. So I'm going to put those in here. And then short story ideas, because I have a lot of those too. And then this is where our, um, all of my facts and information will go. There's a lot right here. I'm going to take all the information from these sticky notes and put it in here. Um, and then the story map. I'm going to make a map for the, um, the town that they live in uh, with the roads and all that stuff. So we'll see how that goes. And then this is my word sprint tracker so far. With this camp panorama but i made two more pages that i'm gonna add because we're only like a week in and i'm already almost done with this page which i'm pretty proud of so i'm gonna make two more pages for that and then this is the abilities that the vampires will have and then the spells that the witches will use like the names of the spells or what they say and stuff like that and then is there another page after this yeah 
So these are quotes that I think of for any character or a certain character to say. I'm going to write them down here and then I'll add them later. And I think that's the end of this. So this is what I've been working on all day since my last um, update. And this is the journal I'm going to be using to keep track of Project Red 1. This one was from um, the beginnings of Project Red 1, but the beginnings of the project itself in general. So I'm going to upgrade to this one to keep all the Project Red 1 information in. And then I have a couple of notes over here that I need to consolidate as well. Okay, so as you will notice, it has been two days since I've updated you guys on any of my NaNoWriMo progress. And um, to be fair, the last two days I haven't written anything. Um, the first day I just had a really hard day and I just wasn't really feeling like writing and I was already ahead. The second day, I literally have no excuses for, but um, I um, did something really big. I opened my um, shop on Ko-Fi or Ko-Fi. The link is in the description for that. Definitely feel free to check it out, donate, whatever. Um, but I'm opening it for uh, commissions of like custom bullet journal spreads. So there'll be an A5 size unless otherwise specified in the notes, which you can do any size. I'm doing it in Photoshop, so it's not anything super crazy. I can change the dimensions. But um, if you uh, want bullet journal spreads and you don't want to have to make them yourself and you just want to be able to print them out, I'm going to be making those for you know various pricing points um you can like i said check my ko-fi page for um the commissions and then soon after i'm going to be starting the actual shop where the um they're kind of basic threads or i might choose themes for a month or something i'm not sure but all of the things i'm going to open the shop shop soon but for now i'm doing commissions to help get it started and stuff like that so that's why i didn't write anything yesterday today i'm definitely going to be writing um i just wanted to update you guys and let you know why i'm not and um, just a small plug for myself there, I guess, about my business that I'm trying to run. But um, I will update you guys as soon as I do get something written. Okay, so we're coming to the end of the video here. And I was going to update you on how my writing was going yesterday. But um, again, I didn't write anything. I at least got my um, writing notebook set up though. So that should help me today into the rest of the week because I am doing this. Let's see, this is the ninth that I'm making this video part on. Anyway, so... The last week, I think the first three days of NaNoWriMo went really well, but I think for me the hardest part was um, keeping up with writing every day, first of all, and then, oh gosh, that's not gonna work. And then, um, let's see if I bring you guys back here. So writing every day is important, but also, you know, not writing too much on one day and then not writing for a few days because that's kind of what I end up doing. So now I'm so far behind because I didn't write anything. But I did figure out some things about my characters and how I want the story to flow and whatnot because I am also kind of just editing this story because I have it most of the way written. I'm just adding two characters in and this piece of hair will not stay down. So I think next week for sure I'm going to be able to write a lot more but not write too much in one day and I think I'm going to utilize a lot more things to help me stay more productive when I'm writing because I get distracted way too much like even when I do the pomodoros I end up you know writing for maybe 10 minutes of that time when I could have been writing the whole time and then taking the five 10 minute break afterwards but um Definitely some things to think about for next week, and I think I might schedule out my writing time a little bit more because just writing whenever I feel like it, I don't end up feeling like it three days later. So um, that is going to be the end of this week's vlog. Let me know down in the comments how far you got in your writing or how it's going for you, any epiphanies you had, etc. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.